beautiful day for you to get some gist, some gossip, some stories, gist in Nigeria back to back. I am back to giving you some latest and hottest news in Nigeria and even in Africa. I hope you're ready for me today. My name is Uluwashim Adedi Kwanzi, Elijah Africa TV. Of course, this is Spice and Vibes, another beautiful episode for you to enjoy yourself. You know, sit back, grab your popcorn, and let us go on this ride together. I don't go anywhere. Be right back. You are come back. So this is still Spice and Vibes. And like I said earlier, I have some latest, hottest news. You know, hot, just as the hot. I want to give you as the hot. Guess what? Kubana Chief Priest was, you know, taken by EFCC. He has been taken to the EFCC custody. You know what is trending right about now in Nigeria is the fact that people are abusing Naira. And there's one thing for sure that quite a lot of people in Nigeria, especially Lagos, abuse Naira. Well, I mean, when it comes to spraying this Naira, we're talking about a lot of people spray money, talking about wedding, talking about burial, talking about anniversary, talking about um, birthday, talking about clubs. I mean, we have a lot of people that go out for OMB and this Lagos particularly, people like going out for parties, for events, for shows, for OMB. Are you joking? People spray money very well, especially in Lagos. People spray money very well. Now, you're talking about uh, bars, clubs, you know, some sort of locations that people go out to enjoy themselves. Of course, people spray money, especially at clubs. So, you know, when it comes to, uh, if you say you want to arrest uh, people that do this kind of thing, do you want to arrest everybody too? It will not be easy to do this thing because you cannot carry everybody. A lot of people do this. In fact, so many people are guilty of this, honestly. Well, so right about now, the hottest news is that Cubana was actually taken to the EFCC custody and he pleaded not guilty of the offense charged against him. And yes, funnily enough, he was granted bail of 10 million naira. Wow. Wow. 10 million naira. 10 million naira. But of course, Kubana Chief Priest also came out uh, to the social media space and he was like trying to appreciate his fans and people who have stood with him and by him when he was, uh, you know, charged this particular offense of, okay, abusing Naira, things that, although there were no other charges against him, it is just this particular abuse of Naira. And funniest thing is that people on the social media space actually went bringing out they had to like dig out his previous videos of him spraying money spray and you know kubana is one world person so he likes spraying and there was one particular location i was spraying money the money was spreading all over the floor i was like oh my god you know another thing you could actually do if you, know you want to spray money you want to you know spend money for the people you're celebrating one thing you could do is I have an experience of this because at my brother's wedding we actually did something like this you could print um a fake money it is not like fake 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 but you could make a design of um of an artwork that carries the same design of the naira but it is not the same thing so you have different figures or different currency you want so when people come you bring them out in massive numbers so when people come for your event they have to buy this paper transfer the money to your account then they spray you this paper instead of spraying the original naira the original currency instead of doing that they spray this paper and then you have the event you have your oh and they go well and everybody's gonna be fine there's no efcc coming around chasing you around that you you abuse the naira no there will be nothing like that because you've actually spread paper and not the original money this is another way to go about this thing so everybody could avoid this offense or being arrested by efcc but we do hope kubana chief priest is fine away from that we also have portable who came online and uh, he made a video 
uh, begging ESC, begging his fans, begging everybody that, oh, I know I am actually guilty of this same thing. I spray money. Even not portable Wella, you would know portable somebody that actually likes money. Mm -mm, he would not dispute that fact. He likes money. And he likes spraying money. He also, he likes people spraying. In fact, if you spray portable money, he's going to be very, very happy with you. I mean it. He's going to be very, very happy. If you spray money, he's going to be happy with you. And the same way he likes spraying money too. He also likes giving out so when it comes to that he actually he came out making a video saying i know i've done a lot of these things already i have done a lot of these things and before they would actually come for him he's already coming out to say yes i'm also one of them but please i am already begging do not carry me because those were mistakes and i will not do them again so that was this were the things what came out saying begging everybody and afcc that should not come and carry him because he's going to change he's going to you know deviate from that and so, yeah, he's not going to do those acts again so that they can forgive him before they actually come for him it's actually very funny but then that was a very smart move. Wow. I had something shocking. I mean, I saw this uh, shocking news and I was like, wow, really? Oh my God. Cora Obidi's ex-husband came also. He came out online and he told us, he brought to us, I mean, to everybody, to the public, that his ex-wife, which is Cora Obidi, I actually made an offense and maybe perhaps that is the reason they got separated or that he left her he said she told him when when they were together she told him that she was coming to lagos for a friend's wedding and she was pregnant i mean five months pregnant with their current child so he said when she came to lagos for the wedding Unknowingly, she was having something with the friend's husband. I mean, when I saw this post, I was like, wow, that is so serious. He said they had something together while she was pregnant. I mean, five months old pregnancy. That's a lot. If this allegation is actually true against the Coral Bidi, this is a very, very huge thing. I mean, I don't even know how to take this. This is so serious. Wow. It's well normally normally it might be enough reason for the husband to actually you know say no i am leaving this woman we don't even know if there are other things also other reasons for this separation or all the same this particular one is a very very huge thing i mean why would you be pregnant you're pregnant already five months and you still went ahead to have something personal with your friends oh, oh god that's so serious it's really really serious and i do hope they try to set it out all right once again away from that we have mobat's mom who recently came out and made a video crying in the video in a recent video she was crying that Nigerians should come to our aid, the governor Sonwulu should come to our aid, that there are some particular people that are coming alive. She said, these same people, a part of the people that caused the death of our son, which we all know as Mubad. So she said, these particular people are one of the reasons, I mean reasons, I'm not saying the main reason, but one of the reasons of what have led to the death of the famous Mubad. So she came out crying that everybody should come to her aid. They were chasing her too. They are after her life. Why would they be after her life? We do not know. There is only one way to find out. We are waiting what's going to come next after this. Because I believe this video is not going to end there. The fact that she came out crying about this. It is to tell us that there are a lot of things we need to know. There are still some things that behind the camera that we still need to know that they still need to reveal to us. And, and yes, we are waiting to see what the main cause of his death is. By the time the autopsy results is already telling us what we need to know, by that time everybody would calm down and we would know what the real cause of his death is. At the same time, we would also know if this is related to what Mobat's mom is actually telling us about the people who are chasing or being after a life. So finally from the news with me today, wow, this is actually very sad though, very sad. 
Kaid was reportedly rushed to the hospital recently, I mean some hours ago. He was rushed to the hospital and it was reported to be an internal bleeding. Oh my God, so sorry about that. So sorry about this news. Uh, we really do hope Kaid is well and is all right. While some people are saying this might be a publicity stunt, but I really do hope it is not a publicity stunt. I do hope this is maybe perhaps a root nose but at the same time i do wish him well i wish him well and i wish they are not using this to create pr for others just you know to gain more popularity and gain more audience and all that recognition and all that we do hope it is not a pr stunt i do hope you're being sincere and i wish you good i wish him well i pray god keeps him a good health and heal him soon Get up some kind, we want to see more of you again. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that will be all on Spice and Vibes episode for today. My name is Lua Shun Adedekun, also known as Sherin, and this is TLIG Africa. We're talking about Spice and Vibes. I want you to join us for other episodes of Spice and Vibes on TLIG Africa TV. You know what to do? I always bring the spice, the vibes, and the ginger together with some latest and hottest news in Nigeria for you will meet us again for our next episode my name is Oluwashi Wadidukum once again thank you mm -hmm.